unique right now, but normally you can put it like in a cheesecloth, and then that way you can just dip it in there. Mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of like the, using the Instapot, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rubber band it. I'm just gonna just get a couple here. We're just gonna get a good amount. And we're gonna reserve this for later. Doing a bouquet garni, so it's a bay leaf, parsley stems, and then a couple sprigs of thyme. And I'm just making sure that I do tie it, you know, tight, so that way we're able to go ahead and just kind of pull this out of the stew, so that way it's not actually in there with all the stems. You're trying to fish out everything. That way you get all the flavors extracted into it, but without having to worry about. Usually I'll just do it on both sides. I'll tie it on both sides. If you want, you can go ahead and leave a longer piece of string so that way you're able to just kind of pull it out of the pot normally when you're doing it like in a bigger you know regular stock pot you want to be able to do that because you can just hang it over the edge tie it to the i usually tie it to the handle so that way it doesn't accidentally sink it or just pull that out i still push it to get all the juices out so that way you get all the flavors in there but for this read we're just going to go ahead and put that whole thing in there and usually <clears throat> i like to keep it towards the top you know i don't want it to sink too far to the bottom because then it's going to get too too saturated and then it's going to be hard to pull. 